Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all fine. So today we are going to learn about data validation, how we can do data validation in Sheets, which is very much helpful to the teachers as well as students who are having a very large data and if they want to see some specific data. And as well as we are going to learn about dynamic charts also. So I hope you enjoy this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. So first of all, in order to go data validation, we'll go first to sheets.googles.com. And once we enter it, they will ask for the email ID. If the email ID is already entered, then the Google Sheet will directly open or otherwise you have to log in with your desired account and password. So once it is open, you can either go with a blank sheet, but I have a ready data validation sheet. So just I will show you. So now this is a Google Sheet. And in this, we will learn how, first of all, how we can do a drop down menu. Now, obviously, as a teacher, you don't want the students or you are sharing the file, as I have told you in the previous all videos also, you're sharing your file with some other teachers or some students also. So you don't want your students to write down and just mess up with all that kind of things. So better than that, you are going to give the drop down menu. So for an example, if I'm typing a question, I'm just making it in and I'm typing a question over here, which is your favorite animal. Okay, so this is the question and I'm sharing with my students. I have told you also how to share. There's a share button over here. Now I want my answer. I want my students to answer in this. So I know that okay, there are some selected answers so that I have to give a drop down menu for that so that you can just select the answer. They don't want to write anything else. So what I will do, first of all, I will think about the uh, things and you can write down anywhere, wherever you write down. So you just think about the answer. So for an example, dog, okay, cat or anything else. Okay, lion. Okay, so these are the three options that I have selected. Now, suppose if I want to make, you can write down anywhere, wherever you write, and you want to make a drop down menu over here. So I'll select that cell, and over here, if you left click it, you will get a data validation. Okay, and suppose if you don't get over here the data validation, which is over here, if you don't get it, so you can go over here also data, and in that also you will able to see the data validation over here. So click on the data validation, and then they will tell you to select the range. Okay, so if I just again drop over here and I will just show it to you. So what they're telling list it from the range. So I will just list it from the range and over here, I will just enter the range. So what I will do, I will select my options. So I will just selecting my options and I'm pressing it okay. And here, please don't forget to, it should be on only, so show drop down list. And if you want to show warning, you can show warning. If it is an invalid input, they can reject the input also. So I'll just save it. And you can see that now uh, there is a small area, a drop down area you can see and where the students can just click and select the answers. Why it is important to write it down like this also, because suppose if I just change this option to cat to maybe frog. So over here also you can see the option will be changing to frog. Okay, so a student can select whatever option they want. So this is a very benefit of data validation. If you want, you can just click over here and there is a square like option over here and you can just drag and drop so you can see that everyone will have certain option in that. So now you can select from dog, you can select from a lion or you can select from anywhere else. So this is a very important task of data validation. If you also want, you can just select over here. And if you want to clear all these things, you can just press delete. But then also don't worry, the data validation will be only. So this is the benefit of data validation. Now where this data validation is used too much in our daily life as a teacher, how I can use data validation for my betterment. So if you go to sheet number two and you can see that there are some marks. Now, suppose this is a very small data. If there is a very huge data, it is very difficult to find out a particular name and if I want a particular marks. So what I do, these are some names and these are some marks. So what I will do over here, first of all, obviously I will just copy down this names and marks over here. I will just select this control C and over here control C to just show you the things. Now over here, I need, suppose there are so many names over here, but I need only a particular student marks. So what I will do, I will first of all, obviously click over here and go to data and in that data validation. Now you can see over here, you have to uh, see the list of the range. So I will just select the names because I want to just see the names. So I will just select from here to here and press it okay. So if I just press it okay, I will just save it. So you can see that now I have some names okay, over here. I'm sorry, just I will make it again proper data, data validation and I will select the range from, I will just click over here and from reach A3 to A6 and I will press OK and save it. So now you can see there are some list of them, Rahul, Raj, Pratik and Ramesh. Now if I want to see their English marks or maybe physics, chemistry, maths or something like that. So there is a very cool feature known as VLOOKUP. 
So VLOOKUP helps you to just identify the things. So very simple it is, we have to just type VLOOKUP, okay. And in that, if you want, if you're not remembering, you can just help for, or obviously you can just click on help also. So they will give you the formulas. So search key. So from where do you want your search? Okay, so obviously I want a name from names. So I want a particular name, so I will just select the names. Okay, comma. Then after from which range you want to select. So please remember you will select the whole range, whatever the whole sheet is there with the name as well as the marks. So I will select the names and marks also, comma. Then the index. Now remember, if you want to get English marks, okay, so index is the second column because this is the first column. A, this is the second column. So you'll just press two, okay. So you'll just press two over here. You can see over here, there is a two and comma. Okay, the last one, okay, you have to just is sorted. So you will keep it just false, okay. There is a key over here, you'll just keep it false. So if you can see this, we look up, first of all, we have to do over there, the names, G3, then the full range you have to select. Second column Y because I want to just see over here English marks and false. So if you enter it right now, there will be no marks because I have not selected the name. So suppose if I select the name of Rahul, let us see that marks is in the yes. So you can see that Rahul has got 12 marks. Suppose if I want to see of Pratik, so you can see that Pratik has got 30 marks in the English. So similarly, if you want, you can just copy paste the thing. You can copy paste the formula over here and you can just place it on the physics also. Only one change will be that please remember. Okay, instead of physics is in the third column. So over here in the formula, you will just press it third. Okay, other all things remain same and you'll just press enter. You can see that, okay, the Pratik max of physics is 43 and it is shown over here. Similarly, in mathematics also, you can paste the formula, whatever the formula is, but you will just obviously change the column. That is the fourth column. And yes, obviously in the physics also, chemistry also, you'll just paste the thing and you will just change the column. The column is the fifth column. Okay, so I'll do like this and you can see that okay, now, a thing is very created in which you can just select the names and you can see the marks of a particular students. If you want to make a chart of this, it is very much easy. It is a dynamic chart. So what you will do, you'll just select the new table which you have got. Okay, you'll just press on insert and in that you can just press a chart. So automatically they will be created a chart and you can see that uh, you can change the chart. You can make a bar chart or something like that. So you can see that okay, there is a chart of Rahul. Okay, how much is code in English? I will just smaller this chart so you can see. Now let us see okay, whether it is dynamic or not. So suppose if I select for Raj, you can see that the names, okay, the marks are changing. Okay, suppose it is for a Pratik, you can see that Pratik, the names are changing. I will just change the title if you want. You can change the title also. It is Rahul written right now, but obviously you can change the title itself. So you can see that okay, there is in customizer chart title. So you can see that the midterm marks. Okay, so now you can see that okay, there is a midterm marks of particular student. So if you want to see a particular student marks, you can see that okay, the chart is changing by itself. So this is the benefit of using Google Sheets. So I hope you like your, this video. And if you like this video, please share and subscribe. And for more videos, keep on logging. Thank you and have a nice day.